Okay, there they are, the Gallagher brothers, yeah. the Oasis, Noel and Liam. Mark's they're... out of ten for their last album. So... <laughs> they're, they're just horrible. <laughs> they're, just they're just horrible. Why, why? Horrible guys. They're rude, not as talented as they think they are. Mm. Well, they actually, I mean, I, I won't mince words here, but I mean, they've had a go at me personally. Mm. And, and I. Well, you say he's had a go at you. I mean, he did recently say, um, I'm sure you're probably aware of this quote that during the last election, he said, um, everybody must vote Labour because yeah. if you vote Conservative, <laughs> Phil Collins will come back and live in Britain. Yeah, well, he was quoting something that was said way, way back. Uh, everybody can s assumes that I'm a Conservative, you see, because mm. I've got a lot of money. Mm. But I'm not a conservative at all, never have been. But he was using the fact that I'd gone to Switzerland, you got to Switzerland, must be taxed, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But they keep having a go at me, which, which is, I find strange. I mean, yes. I seem to embody... Do you think this programme this... will do anything to heal the <laughs> no, rift? I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I personify all that. He's, he's actually called me the Antichrist of music. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently, which, which surprised me. Well, they are very egotistical. Noel once said, um, we're not arrogant, we just believe we're the best <laughs> band in the world. <laughs> <laughs> there is nobody. I just read an article in Mojo. There is nobody, apart from Coldplay for the moment, yeah. there's nobody that they think is worth anything, apart from them. But they are very popular, though, with certain... They're know, very popular. I mean, as I say, if you can stomach their behaviour, mm. then mm. the music is OK, you know? Mm. I'm, not, I'm not having to go to Oasis, the band, actually, because there's some good songs, and I love the Beatles. Mm -hmm. You love the Beatles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a great nod to that. Mm -hmm. I, I, like, I heard the music long before I knew what these guys were like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But it's interesting about music, though, I think. If somebody gets into music, they a particular track they like, they play it over and over again, and then it can become, you know, this is our tune, or this was the first tune that we've danced on our wedding day and stuff. And it becomes, and you do a lot of touring, but there must be a point, presumably, when you come into one of these favourite tunes that people love, you go, oh, God, I'm playing this again. Well, unfortunately, those kind of tunes, coincidentally, are the tunes that I think less of. Yes. You know, Groovy Kind of Love is, was done for a movie, mm -hmm. you know, it was specifically mm -hmm. done for Buster. Mm -hmm. And it means an awful lot to an awful lot of people. People conceived to One More Night, mm. you know. I mean, I, 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 on the last tour, you know, I was kind of asking people, you know, in the audience, said, tonight we're going to play a bit of everything, we're going to play music anybody had sex to. Mm -hmm. A lot of people mm -hmm. yeah. unashamedly put their hands up. Yes. Half the band. <laughs> 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 uh, of course, they're re responsible for that sort of ridiculous swagger and that, you know, man for it and all that sort of stuff. So there was a point when anybody who visited Manchester was inevitably doing it. Have a look at this. this is uh, Kathy Burke and Harry Enfield. All right, I'll uh, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know now if I can put... No, but there's a story, actually, this might amuse you. I saw this the other day, that um, Liam went to see a concert at Spinal Tap at Carnegie Hall in New York, and the uh, three actors who were in Spinal Tap came out at the beginning and did their folk music parody, and he's watching it saying, who the, who the, who the fuck are these people? I'm sorry, I'll have to swear a lot. It's the only way you can do it. Yeah. Who the fuck are these people? He said, oh, this is Spinal Tap. He says, oh, these, these... No, they're actors. What? They're actors, they're not really English, they're Americans. Oh, fuck off, I'm not having that. And walked out in disgust because he didn't realise that Spinal Tap was a parody. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I tell you what, I had a vote on this. We've not had an audience vote tonight. Who thinks I should put Noel and Liam into Room 101? Yeah. Yeah. Blimey. <laughs> OK, those of you who think they shouldn't go into Room 101. Yeah, yeah you're making a louder noise, but there's fewer hands going up. <laughs> I saw the people that were and they're all very worried, <laughs> so I better watch out. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I'll tell you what, um, I don't think I can put them both in. Let's do a deal. I'll put one of them in. I think you have to put them both in because it's a matching tie and handkerchief job, this. Is it? <laughs> no jacket required. No jacket required. <laughs> in they go to room 101. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Phil Collins. So, let's, let's forget about Oasis. Undoubtedly, the best band ever to be influenced by the Beatles are the Rattles. Oh, yeah. Rattles are fantastic, so we're going to finish off with them. Until the next time, 